Welcome Top 10 Channel. Today we will learn about Top 10 Characters Who Have Lifted Thor's Hammer The recent Avengers, Age of Ultron had a fun party scene that addressed the question of worthiness head on, with each Avenger giving it their best shot, to no avail. Even Thor himself had to prove his worthiness to his father Odin to receive the hammer, and he's lost it a fair few times through the years, too. Worthiness isn't a fixed trait, but rather something that depends greatly on circumstances, which can change with time. Because of that, many characters have had a chance to access the power of Thor, some through loopholes, some thanks to cheating. But no matter how, they all got a taste of that power for a panel or two. Here are top 10 characters who have lifted Thor's hammer. Ten. Deadpool. Anyone even halfway familiar with the wise-cracking, fourth-wall-breaking mercenary Deadpool might raise an eyebrow to hear that he once got a hold of Thor's hammer. The entire ordeal was orchestrated by Loki, Thor's adopted brother and perennial thorn in his side, who manipulates Deadpool into stealing the hammer. Deadpool does so while Thor is on a heroic mission. Thor drops the hammer and Deadpool takes advantage of the relative chaos to locate it first, deprived of the object that allows him to transform into his godlike form, Thor takes on the appearance of his human alter ego and Deadpool is suddenly sprouting a cape. He goes on to take the hammer along on the usual irreverent Deadpool misadventures, ordering fast food, playing festival games, and batting around some baseballs mid-game. However, there is a catch. Deadpool wasn't actually in possession of the real Mjolnir. The real one was still lying where Thor had dropped it, made invisible by Loki, who also created the false one that would give Deadpool the illusion of Thor's powers and in the process cause a lot of trouble for everyone. Still, IT was fun while it lasted. Nine. Magneto. Marvel's Ultimate Universe is an alternate world that is known for its darker and grittier take on familiar heroes. In that world, Magneto lost his children Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch and the ensuing grief drove him to extreme actions. Magneto's electromagnetic powers gave him the ability to manipulate all kinds of metals, and it turned out that Mjolnir was no exception to Magneto's sphere of influence. Magneto wasn't actually able to lift the hammer, but he was able to manipulate the air around it to much the same effect. However, in the main Marvel Universe, Magneto is unable to control Thor's hammer at all. The hammer is forged from a particular metal not native to Earth called URU, and because it is not native to Earth, it's less able to be controlled by Magneto. That doesn't exactly explain what's different about the Ultimate Universe, but hey, they're not comics if they don't have a couple of plot holes. 8. Black Widow Natasha Romanoff got her shot at Mjolnir in another What If? issue, in which Thor is, once again, dead thanks to the catastrophic events of Ragnarok, an apocalypse based in Norse mythology that takes the lives of all the super-powered heroes. This leaves behind all the heroes without special abilities and, when it comes time to battle the frost giants, that's a problem. As everyone is getting overwhelmed, Natasha is sent out to retrieve the hammer. There are no tricks or loopholes involved in her being able to lift it, aside from the general alternate universe theme of the story, she is simply worthy of Mjolnir in that moment. Some have theorized that having the heart of a warrior is of great importance when utilizing Thor's hammer, IT doesn't only require nobility and honor, but certain qualities that would be admirable to a society of Norse warrior gods. Natasha may have a morally grey background, but she is certainly a warrior. 7. Vision The film Avengers, Age of Ultron delivered a mini twist in the form of newly created humanoid robot, the Vision, being able to casually pick up Thor's hammer and hand it to him. Though it functioned as a quick gag in the movie, IT also served the purpose of proving that the Vision was trustworthy when no one had any other evidence to go on. This is unique to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, 
the Vision's comic book counterpart has not been shown to lift the hammer. Part of Vision's ability to do so involves reasons similar to Awesome Andy, as a robot, he doesn't quite follow the same rules as his human colleagues. Although they can lift the hammer, doing so doesn't give either android the full powers of Thor. Even so, IT is a shorthand way to show you a lot about a new character, loopholes aside, seeing anyone else besides Thor with Mjolnir makes an impact on the audience. 6. Storm As a mutant with the powers of weather manipulation, X-Men member Storm has something in common with the God of Thunder right off the bat. However, her tangle with Mjolnir is once again thanks to the interference of Loki, he really lives up to his title as the God of Mischief. Loki created a similar hammer called Stormcaster that he gave to Storm as part of his continued machinations for the Asgardian throne. It gave her powers similar to Thor's, but Storm wasn't interested in Loki's games and power plays. She rejected Stormcaster, though many years later she came to hold it again. As a newly empowered goddess of thunder, she battled with Thor, but instead of harming him she snagged Mjolnir so that she could destroy Stormcaster once and for all. So not only did Storm prove herself worthy, she also willingly gave up incredible power twice, seemingly more proof that she is deserving of the honor. 5. Superman DC Comics and Marvel had been planning a big crossover for a long time before it eventually came to fruition. The deal to produce a few crossover titles started negotiations in 1979, but after a lot of push and pull, the project ended up being shelved for years. JLA Slash Avengers wasn't released until 2003. Luckily it had a lot of flash and dramatics to make up for the wait. During the comics run, Superman got his hands not only on Thor's hammer but also Captain America's shield, making for a pretty iconic cover to the fourth issue. Superman was able to use Mjolnir once to deliver an important blow to the enemy, but later in the issue when he tried to pick up the hammer to return it to Thor, he could no longer lift it. The series writer Kurt Busiek defined worthiness as not just being an inherent quality but something that can change moment to moment. Sometimes it was tied to a specific action, defeating the villain was a worthy goal, so Superman was worthy then, but just handing the hammer back doesn't count. 4. Captain America It probably isn't a surprise to learn that Captain America is worthy, considering his good heart and steadfast morals. Cap is all about honesty and doing what's right, but he's also not afraid to lead the charge into battle, making him fit the bill pretty perfectly when it comes to lifting Jalnir, which he has done twice so far. Both times involved the Avengers in some serious danger, facing huge threats that knocked Thor out of commission and left Cap to pick up the slack. The first time, Cap merely returned the hammer to Thor, though it didn't work for Superman, but comic book loopholes don't always stick and the second occasion involved Cap grabbing the hammer after his trademark shield had been shattering in a big brawl. He used it to rally the other Avengers to fight their enemy the Serpent. Unfortunately Cap didn't get a cool new cape out of the deal. 3. Wonder Woman Although JLA slash Avengers was a big crossover years in the making, but there was a short series in the 90s that pitted classic characters from Marvel and DC against each other to see who would come out on top, a little bit like celebrity deathmatch for comics. Wonder Woman's opponent was X-Men Storm, though prior to the rumble she had a shot with Mjolnir. Thor lost his hammer in his own battle with DC's Captain Marvel, which is when Wonder Woman stumbled upon it. She picked it up easily while remarking to herself about the subjectivity of worthiness, and got a serious jolt of power that definitely would have given her an edge over her opponent. However, that honor that made Wonder Woman so very worthy also made her too noble to fight with an obvious advantage, so she gave up the hammer in order to have a fair fight with Storm. Honor doesn't necessarily win a fight, though, and Storm ultimately took home the victory. 2. Loki after multiple entries dealing in Loki royally messing things up for his brother just out of a self-serving thirst for power, 
It may come as a surprise to learn he once accomplished his ultimate goal, to possess the power of Thor. Having been jealous of Thor since childhood, Loki had gone through just about every scheme and trick he could to get Njolnir, or at least get it away from Thor. When an event called the Inversion caused Loki to become the god of heroism and truth instead of his usual mischief and evil, he becomes a new Avenger, and an inverted Thor becomes a new villain. Loki also finally becomes worthy of Njolnir, which he discovers when he reaches for it during a battle with the newly belligerent Thor. However, the inversion spell is undone during the brawl, causing Loki to once again lose Mjolnir to his brother. 1. Jane Foster When the most recent Thor title featured a female iteration of the character on the cover, it grabbed a lot of media attention, especially when the creators behind it insisted the new mystery woman was Thor. She wasn't Lady Thor, she was the real deal, even so, she wasn't the Thor everyone had come to know, and the discovery of her true identity was a driving force in the story. It was eventually revealed to be none other than Thor's on-again slash off-again love interest Jane Foster. The new Thor had taken over at a time when the original Thor, going by Odinson when depowered, was no longer worthy of Mjolnir. While at first Odinson attempts to take his hammer back, he comes to respect the abilities of Thor and gives her his blessing to continue on in his stead. Odinson had initially dismissed the idea that Jane might be the one wielding Jalnir solely because he knew she was undergoing chemotherapy for breast cancer, but it turns out that while transformed she was perfectly healthy, though when she wasn't, Jane's cancer was actually getting worse because of the toll transformation took on her body. Despite that, Jane Foster is still the current Thor, and has perhaps proven herself the worthiest of all. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to subscribe the channel to watch many new videos.